Christopher Columbus, American hero or psycho killer? Stick around, find out. You might not know this, but Jay actually won an award in the third grade for playing Christopher Columbus on Halloween. It was, it was big news all over the Georgia Gazette. So, so tonight, no, dude, I didn't even... <laughs> see, so tonight <laughs> I brought him in because uh... tonight we're going to tonight Enigmites we're going to talk about the truth about Christopher Columbus because our last podcast episode well the previous one that we did together we destroyed the salem witch trials so i said to myself yeah. you know what I'm not going to pass this opportunity up we're going to get into it so jay are you ready i am all right i got his journal and everything got his journal i didn't yep. know I, I did my own research but I see that. you know how we do around here nerds this story as always we're going to give you the truth and the facts but i'm telling you the truth is legitimately stranger than fiction. In fact, they should teach this story in school. Kids will probably go to school more. Anyways, so let's get into this, Jay. You ready? Tell me about your hero, man. Sure. Tell me about your guy. Uh, so Christopher Columbus, explorer, right, went to uh, the king and queen of, of Spain, right? The monarchs. Their name was... Ferdinand, Ferdinand and Isabella. Isabella. Yeah, yeah. They um they sponsored his trip, right? So this this is these are dudes that like really what they're doing is they're going, hey, I heard that there's a whole lot of rich stuff over in that new continent over mm -hmm. there. I'm gonna go get some. I'll give you some if you buy me a ship. Yeah. Right. If, supply me with a crew, like total mercenary kind of dudes, right? So these are not like. I'm going for the good of humanity kind of guys, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, you got to think about the time period, 1492. Like, this is like, what, not not too far out of the Dark Ages, man. No, it was actually the peak of what, what, what I would say is the peak of... The Enlightenment or the... Well, I would say Western expansion. I would say Western expansion, probably the peak of that. Spain was looking. To, Spain was at that time a a oh, serious power. world, a serious world superpower. Serious, like a serious weird, world superpower. Weird enough, Lee, also Portugal. Yeah, yeah. So was Portugal. So yeah. was England. But, but Spain was a serious, a serious. Uh, they were a serious power. Serious power. So I mean, it's funny because he's regarded as an Italian hero, but literally the Sp Spanish Sp the Spanish paid for his expedition. So the monarch Ferdinand yeah. and Isabel said, hey, look, he, he, exactly what he said. He went there and said, hey, look, I want to look for this new land. I want to do this, that, and the other. But of course, there's some extra history in there about how there was a reward that he could bring to Spain, the glory of Spain, conquistadoring or whatever to Spain or whatever, whatnot. But I'll tell you a couple other... Uh, couple other at the very end i got some good conspiracy theories for you as well right so 1492 sailed the ocean blue right and so he's heading across the story would have you believe that he sailed across the ocean which the 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 atlantic came across the atlantic and landed where it was on the on the verge of verge of Getting ate, eaten by his crew, and they were scared they want to fall off the edge of the globe. That's another thing. Too, that's another thing I tell you right there as well. These people already knew the Earth wasn't flat because the Portuguese were trading with the Japanese at the time. The English were trying to get involved with the Japanese at the time, so they already knew that you could go, you know, one way. You could go down. So they used to leave, and they would go down. They would go around. Africa and come away. He was trying to. His, so his his plan was, I'll go the other way, establish a route to the Indies, is is something like that, right? So they'll have you yeah, believe that he the, just landed in it was North the spice trade. Yeah, exactly, the spice trade. That yeah. was a big thing right there, right? Yeah. Like that was valuable, valuable stuff back then because yeah. that allowed you to preserve meat for for longer periods of time. Oh, really? Right? Spices weren't just like, oh yeah, spices weren't just like kind of like make it make it taste good, mm. right? <laughs> when you smoke meat. And you put herbs and spices and stuff on it, it helps preserve the meat 
Really? Because right. I thought whoever who controls the spice controls the galaxy. Controls the universe. <laughs> well, the I universe mean, that's pretty much how it is, right? But I thought yeah. it, I thought I thought it was for the engineers to be able to travel the space must flow. through the space space lanes. Anyways, that's we just nerded out yeah. there. We just nerded out there. That's a little doing reference for you new That's one of my favorite books. Anyway. So they would have you they would have you believe it, talk, it talks about resource allocation, right? Yeah, for sure. Which and is what the... this is all about. I mean, Christopher Columbus was trying to do the spice route from yeah the other side he's like everybody's going this way i'm gonna go that way he wanted to get rich for sure and he wanted to probably get famous a little bit but so there was definitely a greed aspect well, I mean, kind of kind of go hand in hand in 1500s you right? yeah so they would have you believe that old boy just landed in south carolina and that's <laughs> not even close, close to what happened right so he he hit what we would consider modern day i mean he landed there's no modern day about it he landed in the bahamas dominican republic and what's known as haiti today but back then haiti was called hispaniola or something weird yeah, like that hispaniola. something strange like that right so needless to say columbus's legacy that we're taught is a little bit controversial now i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put an asterisk on this right because unlike the salem witch trials where i just totally destroyed it right Christopher Columbus, whether you like him or don't like him, accomplished something great. Even if it was by accident, he did something that is great. History knows this guy's name, right or wrong. When I say right or wrong, I'm, I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I think in 2024, arguing about the morality of what was going on in 1492, I think that's stupid myself right because if you haven't noticed the morals going on right now aren't that great either so enough of that we're not that type of show ladies and gentlemen the thing, what's so interesting about that right mm -hmm. when when were the morals good exactly exactly right now so listen so yeah when when would when were we when were humans ever a, a really good moral society the romans the romans Sure. We built roads. Yeah, Romans absolutely. built roads. Learn. Absolutely. Learn, they nerds. Did. They were very civilized people. Very civilized. Nerds. Learn. So anyways. Absolutely. So here you go. So first things first, I'm going to put the spoiler alert to the front of this, right? Because Christopher Columbus finding the Bahamas, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Haiti. I mean, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, it's the same island. doesn't matter. Finding that island. That's not the cool part about this story. The fact that he ran into mermaids, UFOs, giants, and documented this stuff. That's what we're going to talk about. That's what they should be teaching. But before I'm going to do that, let me go ahead and just put this whole thing to rest. Subscribe now and turn on the notifications to join us on this extraordinary journey into the unknown.